Transitions are used everywhere. They're in every movie we watch, TV show, and in most YouTube videos. When done right, they'll help you tell better stories and keep your viewers engaged. And in this episode, we'll dive into the video and audio transitions that are built into Adobe Premiere Pro that'll help you make better videos. We'll start with video transitions. Now to find these transitions, we have to open up the effects tab right here and then open the video transitions folder. Now inside this folder, we have more folders that contain transitions that we can pick from. So let's say we want a traditional cross dissolve. Let's open up the dissolve folder and then locate the cross dissolve. Now, obviously, if you already know the name, you can just search for it, but we're going to be exploring it this way. Now, in order to use it, we have to grab and hold it and then put it right on the cut of these two clips. Now, by default, the transition will be about one second long. Now, if you want a slower or a faster transition, you can grab the handles and then just drag it in or out. Or if you click on the transition, it should open up in the effect controls panel right here where we can change the duration and the alignment of the transition. Sometimes it will happen that you cannot put the transition right in the center of the cut, in which case you can change that right here. Now, depending on what transition you use, the effect controls panel may have more or less controls to customize a transition. If we go back and we choose a push transition, for example, we can just drag and drop that onto the dissolve transition that we just used to replace it. And as you can see, there will be more controls. Now up here next to duration, we see little arrows that represent the direction of the transition. You can check this box right here if you want to see the actual clips that we're using instead of the A and B. And if you want a border in between those shots, you can increase this number right here and choose a color. If you wish the direction to be reversed, you can select reverse. Again, different transitions come with different controls, so I recommend to explore these settings for yourself. What if you don't want a transition at the center, but you actually want what's called a single-sided transition? A double-sided transition is what we just did, where a transition is applied to both of the clips. Now, a single-sided transition is, you guessed it, applied to one clip only. Some editors like to use these transitions to have more control over the way that clips transition. For example, at the end of a video, you can use the dip to black transition, but you can also combine two transitions. Now to do this in Premiere Pro, you will have to hold Control or Command if you're on a Mac as you drag the transition to the end or the start of a cut. You can also use a single-sided audio transition, which is something that I use in most of my videos, but we'll touch on that later. Now, if you want to put the same transitions between all of these cuts, we can copy the transition by pressing Ctrl C or Command C, select all of those cuts by holding the Shift key and then press Ctrl V or Command V. Now, what if I told you there's actually a way faster way to apply the cross dissolve transition? Click on the cut and then try pressing Ctrl D or Command D if you're on a Mac. The cross dissolve transition is the default transition in Premiere Pro, which is linked to the shortcut, but maybe you want to change the default transition to let's Say a dip to black transition. In order to do that, we have to locate the dip to black, then right click on it and click on set selected to default transition. Now, if you also want to change the default duration, we can change that right here. Go to Premiere Pro settings, or if you're on Windows, edit and settings and then click on timeline. Now here we can change the duration of a video transition and an audio transition. Let's talk about audio transitions next. Now in Premiere Pro, there are three built-in transitions, the constant gain, constant power, and exponential fade. The default transition in Premiere Pro is the constant power, which basically makes the fade between two clips sound less abrupt, whereas constant gain changes the volume of these two clips at a constant rate. The exponential fade is pretty self-explanatory because it fades exponentially. I personally use constant power transitions as single-sided transitions in my videos all the time. If anything sounds a bit glitchy or a little bit abrupt, I just add a constant power transition to solve this. Sometimes it's better to create a J or an L cut to make the audio sound better instead of using hard cuts. And then when you add a constant power transition, it will make your audio sound seamless. 